Hi guys, we're starting things off a little bit differently tonight. My parents are here, the snow has melted, and we are making homemade pasta and an absolute delicious dinner for my parents while they're here in town visiting. So we're gonna be making a delicious red sauce recipe with ButcherBox's ground bison. Today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox. ButcherBox takes all the guesswork out of shopping. They partner directly with farmers who are committed to raising animals humanely and use sustainable farming practices that are gentle on our planet. For the perfect farm to front door deliveries that are customizable and less than $6 per meal. With 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, and wild-caught seafood. And now for the ultimate test, which is the mother-in-law taste test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can focus on what matters, cooking good food for the people you love. All right, so we just barely finished up our pasta with red sauce, or our red sauce with Butcher Box meat. And if you guys want to check out Butcher Box, it's actually a perfect time right now. You guys get bacon free for life in your Butcher Box membership if you guys sign up right now. You can click the link in our description or go to butcherbox.com slash Trent and Allie and you get bacon free for life. And it's actually a really good last minute Father's Day gift if any of you guys are slacking. Thanks again to Butcher Box for sponsoring today's video. We're going to dig in and we'll see you guys in the morning. What's up guys and good morning. We have a couple of small updates today as you guys can see. I completely shaved my beard and I got a haircut because I am ready for summer. Summer is finally here even though you know in our last episode snowed a foot. We still have some snow here on the deck. We have a couple of really big things happening today. The first of all is that all of the snow is gone off of the foundation, which means today we're going to be building the garage. We actually have all the materials, we have all the tools, we have everything that we need. We're gonna start building the garage today. Today is day one of actually framing and building the garage. And the second thing is we have a new employee that we hired and he's on his way up today. All right, so I've got Allie's latte made for the day. I've got to whip up my latte, and then our employee is gonna be showing up here very soon. Before Brandon gets here, we need to do some orientation with him, get him some tools, get him kind of organized on what's going on. He's never worked on a construction site before, but I trust him, and, and I think he's totally capable, so we're really excited for you guys to meet him. Coming up the road. In all fairness, our new employee just got his driver's license a couple weeks ago, so we were a little nervous about him making it up to our house, but it looks like he hasn't had any problems. He's pulling up right now. Good morning. Are you excited? Uh -huh. Clean shaven. Well, this is our new employee. Joel's gonna be working with us. He just got out of school like two days ago. So he's gonna help us build the garage. How excited are you? So excited to do manual labor, my favorite. <laughs> It'll be good for him. I just went to grab this chair. Ooh, whoa. It's like a slug with wings. Oh, That's wow. How thick that thing is. It's velvet. Ah, it's got eyes! <laughs> Look, did you see it? When I touched it, it turned into, a, turned into eyeballs. Into a face. That's it's, its actually... self-defense camouflage. And it's, Don't... you're falling for it. Yeah. Why is it just doing a dance on the chair? We'll let our uh, slug moth transformer friend have a little piece in the shade for a few minutes and we'll just use a different chair. <laughs> to ask how it was the drive. It was fine. It's easy. Yeah. Joel just barely got his license like five days ago. <laughs> and uh, he's only driven by himself probably like three times. And this is like an hour long drive on interstates from his house. And then you have to get off on this like dirt road that's narrow and when people are coming at you, you've got to like really know the width of your vehicle or you can end up in the ditch type thing. and. It's, you know, slippery dirt roads that he's never driven on before, so I was like a little nervous, but I had full confidence. He made it here without a problem, so it's cool. Very easy drive. I don't know what everyone was worried about. Good, that's awesome. You like that hat? Yeah. 
That one's for you. Bro. You look bald. Yeah, this is for Completely bald. Thanks. <laughs> And 12, right? Yeah. <laughs> we have a full house today. Not only is Joel here, Brandon is on his way up. Uh, there's a couple more people showing up today. And the one thing I was thinking is it would be really nice to feed everybody. We need to get our Traeger cleaned out because it sat under the deck the whole winter. Not only is there some mouse poop in it, but it's just like dirty. Maybe Leo can help clean that later. Smoked yeah. mouse poop. Ew. You don't clean before the cleaners come. That's like a... That's a weird mom thing. Really? Yeah, Go clean your thing. room. The house cleaners are going to be here. Like, what are we paying these people for? Uh, you yeah. Want, you don't want them to think you're messy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. One of my Christmas gifts this past Christmas was um, my mom got me the gift of a professional house cleaning service to come and clean the house. And now that it's the summertime, I'm cashing in on that gift. And for the first time ever, we're having a, a house cleaning service come up and clean the house. So naturally this morning I was like, okay, I need to clean everything up. I need to get everything ready for the cleaners because like Joel just said, I don't want them to think I'm messy. <laughs> is that just me or is that like a normal response to when you have people come in to clean your house? I don't know but I definitely feel like I need to at least organize some stuff so that they can clean better. I don't know, these guys seem to think that that's flawed logic, but it makes perfect sense to me. Our employee wants to babysit more than frame. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. That's Joel. All right, we gotta get to work. This is your tool belt. I feel like a real handyman now. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be a handyman. You are the skinniest setting possible. It does go up to a 52 inch waist, which is at least double the size of your waist. And your waist too. That's, you guys are built the exact same. That's, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so this is going to be your best friend and most likely your worst enemy a little bit. Chopping wood was preparation for all of this. Oh man. Now figure out where it goes. I don't know man. Does that look like a handyman? Perfect. Hey! <laughs> that was a handyman thing to me. No. So you want to put that point down. Yeah. Yep, there you go. perfect. This is for when a nail gets driven in in the wrong place. Say so you're trying to get this nail out right here. You take your hammer, you take that at an angle like that, and you pound this into the wood until it's under the nail, and then you pry it out. It's called a cat's paw. Don't the hammer already have this on it though? No, you can't pound that in because that is your hammer. This is your tape measure. Uh, yeah, I figured that much out. Do you know how to read it? Pretty sure. Show me 13 and 3 eighths. 13 and 3 eighths. So 13 and then oh, right there. Oh, ho, the shirt's coming off. I first your eyes. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend. <laughs> He's <is> not single. <laughs> but you look like you're on the track to become a construction worker. <laughs> Beautiful. We're getting them all set up. A whole wardrobe change. Oh yeah. <laughs> Basically you need to fully understand that this is a construction site. There is no padded corners. Things are sharp, things are dangerous. When we're using nail guns, it's like as dangerous as a real gun because you can shoot a nail into somebody just like you shoot a real gun into somebody. Safety is the priority. Doing things that are risky and stupid can get you severely injured and you just need to be aware that like, this is a very dangerous place. So basically, what that means is we'll teach you how to use everything, and if you ever have any questions, don't do it yourself, just ask first, and uh, we'll try to avoid any major casualties. When you hurt yourself, mm -hmm. you have to tell us immediately. It's an if, it's not a when. No, he's gonna hurt himself for sure. <laughs> we don't know if it's gonna be like severe, but he's definitely gonna hit his thumb with the hammer at least. Okay, as long as it's only that. Good how morning. Pretty good. What's up, Bill? Hola. Do I look handy? Absolutely. Do I look handy? <laughs> you need some suspenders. That's exactly what I said. I Your hips are going to be hurting. <laughs> I know. I can already tell. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's time to get to work. Wait, look at you two. Dad's glasses on. Look at both of you together. Oh my gosh, matching glasses. That's right. adorable.
basically what we're going to be doing is, is measuring in six inches and then you measure and you snap a line and then you know exactly how far from that line your holes are and then when you take your two by six you drill all these holes according to where that line is you set the two by six down and then you have a half inch reveal here so that when you put your sheathing on everything is nice and smooth on the outside so that when you go to put your siding on there's no like big lip or shelf on the outside we already did this we snapped all of our lines with what's called a chalk line the snow washed it all off so now we just have to redo that and then we can actually start putting the uh green clay down It's not super hot out, but it is very sunny. And at this elevation, when it's sunny, it does burn you and you do get dehydrated very quickly. So I said, hey, Joel, do you have a water bottle? And he goes, no, I don't have a water bottle, but I do have goldfish. <laughs> Packed his bags of goldfish. more bags in my car. <laughs> That's what tool bags are for, right? Bags of goldfish. Hello. Yep, have a good one. What was that? Hi, my name's Javier. I'm a realtor in the area. Uh, are you interested in selling your cabin? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta live in it. Okay. Oh. First one down. This is the beginning. Yeah! Our first piece of green plate, mounted, bolted, ready for business. Green plate is? Green plate is the pressure treated lumber that goes at the bottom of your walls per code. Any wood that comes in contact with concrete, even though there is this little uh, air barrier, this little foam piece that goes underneath the two by six, um, it's still considered to be in contact with concrete. And any wood that's in contact with concrete has to be pressure treated. And this is what you frame on top of? This is what you frame on top of. Joel, what do you think? I there's some problems along the way. <laughs> Exciting things are happening today. The green plate is getting installed. Joel is adjusting really well. His goldfish hasn't run out yet, so he's oh, still, at, oh, it has. He's borderline in a, in a good mood still. And uh, the cleaners just showed up. So I think Leo's been sleeping for maybe about an hour. Dana is here helping out and uh, everything's happening. We have a plumber coming later. We'll get to that when we get to it. And for now, just trucking along. It's exciting. This is Joel's excited face. Yeah. I can't see you, but I'm really excited through my glasses. <laughs> uh, how's our square looking? Are we on the line? Oh, it's pretty good. We're not gonna make the same mistake twice, right? Maybe if we aim to be air at a square, we'll end up perfectly square. <laughs> Probably more likely. It's pretty quick. We only have one more wall left put green plate on and then we can start building walls. Exactly right. Yeah. It's not even noon. It's, no, nope, but it's warm. It is warm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thanks. Good work. <laughs> all right, that's all for today. You can head home. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a good nap? <gasps> His lips so much. <laughs> oh, were you so tired? Yeah. Good job. I'm so impressed. Really? Yeah, like he slept the entire time. The cleaners have been here for like an hour already and he didn't wake up with the vacuum and all the noise and I assumed as soon as they started cleaning he would wake right up but he slept the whole time which doesn't make any sense because normally we have to like tiptoe around and he wakes up at the first sound of any noise but uh, maybe he likes the vacuum. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. He loves it. Good job. <laughs> It's so amazing having Dana here to help and hang out because not only is she great at watching Leo and just giving me a little bit of relief when I need to go do something else, but also she speaks Spanish. And necesitamos practicar español porque 
of yellow toros. <laughs> That's so cool. I mean, practice makes perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sí. And Leo's gonna speak Spanish. Yeah. Sí. You're gonna be so professional. <laughs> it's honestly been really difficult to find not only someone we trust, but someone who's reliable and who's willing to come all the way up to our house because there are some great daycares around here. They all have really long wait lists and they're all really expensive and honestly, that just is not our preferred option. We we have this flexible lifestyle and we want to have Leo with us all the time, but we still have a lot of work to do. I manage multiple businesses full time um, and, and I'm super busy, but I still want to like have my baby with me. So Dana has been a lifesaver, just hanging out for a couple hours, most days during the week and uh, letting me, you know, snuggle and hang out with Leo, but also focus on work when I have to work. Are we running into problems already? Well, I was going to fudge the plans and build 13 foot walls so that our little additions on the sides would be easier and mm. we don't have the ability. No possible. <laughs> Everyone's on a learning curve today. We have some interesting additions and renovations that we've decided to incorporate into this garage before we've even started building it. And so now we're trying to make a little like some adjustments to incorporate those additions before we start framing to make it easier. But we don't have the right amount of lumber or the right length of lumber. So we're trying to get a little creative, make it all work. We're trying to shoot for 13 feet walls instead of 12 feet walls. And I think we'll be able to make it happen. It's only been a year. Do you remember how to do this? Yeah. We got this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Order over. <laughs> No faith, Joel. Come on. I'm sure how much faith he has in me. <laughs> I have the most faith in you. That's why you're here. <laughs> uh, it has begun. The first wood of the first wall of the first part of building the garage. It's happening. It's so tall. It's gonna be a little scary. How are we gonna get up there? <laughs> I have no That's idea. What I was asking. Joel, get on my shoulders. <laughs> That's what Joel's on, on top of the ladder. <laughs> Doing things that are risky and stupid can get you severely injured. Trent, you Somebody let someone brace that. Bang! Perfect. Oh my gosh. Stupid. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> well, I took a quick break to pump and to feed Leo. I came back out here and they are pretty close to finishing framing this wall. I am realizing that we're building the garage mahal. <laughs> May as well just put one of those big swoopy tips on it because... That'd be great. It's gonna be intense. Again, it's basically just like our house. Really tall and no square footage. That's why we're building these additions on the outside so yeah. we have more square footage, yeah. but this thing is gonna be an absolute monster. You heard it here first, everybody. Welcome to the Garage Mahal. Are you gonna help too? Are you gonna help too? Hi! Oh, was it what you expected it to be? Yeah, kinda. I did less than I thought I would, but like, yeah. I'm kinda glad about that. Yeah, yeah. We had a pretty successful day. If you look down at the garage from here, you can see that it is the garage mahal. It's going to be... I mean, the issue is that like the trusses are probably at least 60 to 80% the height of the wall. So it's just gonna be incredibly massive. And uh... We're making, we're not making the same mistake we made with the house. We built the house too small. We're about to build the garage and I'm like, nope, needs to be bigger. I'm not having this problem again. So we're uh, expanding before things get too late. And uh, I think it's gonna be just fine. We talked to the structural engineer and the architect. They said it's gonna be five weeks out. So hopefully it takes us five weeks to build as much as we're approved to build. We're gonna kick back and relax. We'll probably see you guys in the morning. Actually, before we call it for the day, Joel took off because he was really excited to get out of here and get back to his friends. But my mom made something for Brandon and I promised her 
that I would film it because she doesn't trust me at all. She wanted to say a huge thank you and she double taped this closed. <laughs> And she drew a skull and crossbones and it said, these cookies are not for Trent and Allie. They're just for Brandon and his family. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. That's awesome. See, mom, I, I do have some self-restraint. <laughs> oh my. You could probably have one, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> You said you didn't get burnt, Joel? You were totally fine yesterday? Yeah. We're weird and lame because we got sunburnt. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but that wrist burn last night was bright red and it looked like a zebra stripe if zebras had red and white stripes. Brandon's face got burnt. Really? Yeah, my neck. Oh no. We're all still readjusting to the summertime sun exposure up here. Got a couple packages in the mail. Let me show you what they are. Well, the first one is oh. a new tripod for the GoPro. Oh, that's not a fun Because gift. our last one was a piece of crap. And the GoPro kept falling over. All right, yeah, work. Not sponsored. These are Joel's first pair of work boots. We needed to get him some like steel toe or composite toe boots so that if something gets dropped on his foot, he doesn't, you know, lose a couple toes or anything like that. Hiya. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. they're gonna be a little heavier than your current shoes. I can, yeah, I can tell by the fact that I'm Oh, did you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> slipped into that nice little pocket. I won't call it nice, but it's a pocket. <laughs> Kids. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Even if you're not working, Joel, these have stees. These are cool. These are. These are pretty swag. You can wear those yeah. to dinner. These are super swag. You should have worn these to Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, yeah that's for exactly sure. Right. You know what they say yeah. about guys with big boots? Big egos. Big egos. <laughs> How do you feel? Like I can step in mud. I can do a little oh, yeah. jumping leprechaun heel kick. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, my boots uh, that I bought when we started building the house were absolutely wrecked. So I tried to get us the boots that I bought when we started building the house and they were sold out. And so I got a pair of these as well. But I think mine might be too small. We're gonna oh. see, I'll try them on. Your ego is too big. My ego is too big and my boots are too small. <laughs> Looks like I accidentally ordered Joel and I some women's boots. <laughs> <laughs> they fit Joel perfectly, but mine are too small. Oh, are you getting sent back to the factory? Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, so first thing is first today. We women's don't, boots. Women's, women's boots. Joel's got women's boots. They fit in perfectly. We're not gonna gender discriminate around here. Um, first things first today, we are gonna go out and start figuring out our layout for the west wall. Okay. We don't have the lumber for that west wall. Oh. Uh, if we did, I bet today we could build the north and the west wall. But we don't. Like I said yesterday, we decided to raise the walls a foot. Mm, okay. So all the lumber that I ordered is a foot short. Okay. So. You need a, uh, what is that thing? Wood lengthening. Board stretcher. Board stretcher. Board stretcher. Run down and grab a board stretcher. Not to be confused with a medical stretcher. <laughs> ice on ice. So good, guys. <laughs> Whether it's negative 20, yeah, it doesn't matter. 50 degrees. I'm still drinking. <laughs> It is really nice now that the deck is built, the house is built. I can feed Leo out here in the shade. It's a gorgeous day. It's a little overcast, but it's warm. It's clear. It's not super windy. And um, I can still like be part of them building and like come in and out of the house, hang out with Leo. Dana should be here maybe in like an hour or so. And uh, until she gets here, Leo and I are just having his little breakfast for the morning. And these guys are brainstorming how to build this Graj Mahal of a beast because it's a little complicated, just like everything else we decide to build. Well, the good news is the wall that they built yesterday is still standing and it was a little breezy last night. So hopefully that means this is nice and solid and built in place and not going anywhere. Maybe even square, but we don't want to ask for too much, you know? things are well What facts belong, it's hard to say so hard to tell. 
part of the reason this is becoming so complicated is we're extending the garage on both sides to have a, instead of a two car garage, a four car garage to help us with all the projects and all of the other things we need to store. The issue with that is we had some landscaping and excavation done last summer that we're probably gonna have to tear apart and build another concrete retaining wall. We're definitely gonna need more concrete. We're definitely going to need more lumber. <laughs> and all of this takes a lot of engineering and we're trying to like plan it out as best we can. Um, okay. As best we can is the key phrase there. So we can uh, basically get this back wall built today and then we can maybe start fabricating some of the beams and getting this wall ready. And then come Monday when all that stuff shows up, actually it's gonna be in the evening, so. That's fine. Monday might be a come Tuesday. idiot day. We're good at those. Yeah, we got a lot of idiot day. We're gonna be doing built-ins. <laughs> no, All right, we don't have goldfish today. We have chewy bars. Yeah, where's my chewy bar? Oh, oh gotcha. look at you! <laughs> All right, you're hired. <laughs> so we have Joel, we got Joel put to work up here. He's gonna be moving this pile of lumber where Curtis is gonna be coming back to fix our uh, water main issue or our uh, sewer main issue. So he's gonna be busy for a minute. Brandon and I are gonna start measuring and cutting all of the studs and basically getting this back wall mocked up. We're gonna have this thing built, you know, probably here in the next couple of hours. Wow. These guys have been hard at work the garage mahal is fully framed, as you can see. But no, the, the blocking is almost fully in on this wall. And it looks like Joel did a lot of rearranging of the wood back here. He's been, he's been working really hard. He's exhausted, as you can see. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> he has been working really hard. And even these guys who haven't like done a lot of actual work have been working very hard mentally. And it is really hot and sunny out here, so I am deciding that everybody is taking a really quick lunch break because we need a little bit of water, we need to reapply some sunscreen, and uh, we need some fuel to keep our spirits up there, you know? All right. It's heavy. Help yourself to a bagel. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Looks amazing. I could finish it in an hour. No, I, no, I, I said it should only take an hour. It's gonna take me three days to, <laughs> <laughs> to move all that wood. <laughs> we keep looking at the remaining stack. Yeah, if you're trying to idea. move them uh -huh. so he can count them. So can be like, this is how many I have left. <laughs> it helps me normally, but I'm like, oh, I got it. <laughs> do that. Just wait until they ask you to move it one place and then three days after it's all moved and stacked beautifully they say oh wait can you actually move it over here because that will happen. happen. How was lunch? Excellent. Thank lunch you. was fantastic. Good. I'm uh, nice and full now just you know it's kind of a debate because when you eat lunch then you get out there and you're sluggish and maybe you make a mistake and you're like kind of want to take a nap and if you don't eat lunch <laughs> you can just power through to the end of the day and then you feel like you have a medical issue because you haven't eaten all day. So it's a give and take. Today we stopped and ate lunch and everything's going good. We're about to start framing up this wall. We've got one stud stood and toenailed in. Joel is going to continue moving the pile of lumber that is where <laughs> Curtis needs to dig the sewer line out. We're going to start building the wall. Everything is coming together so well. Joel is working hard. The guys are framing really quickly, honestly. Dana is hanging out with Leo, who has napped really well and been eating really well all day. I have a little bit of free time, so I might as well get back to working on Terry. It's mostly clothing at this point that needs to come out, and then I need to start cleaning, which I honestly love because I love like the satisfaction that comes with the progress of when you clean something out. Actually, I just love it when it's done. I don't actually love the process itself, but I do love the results of cleaning, so I'm okay with cleaning. The light at the end of the tunnel is here in Terry. We just have to put our head down and make it happen.
rocking the 90s vibes hard today and Trent is uh, really getting into it. Everyone has been able to enjoy Trent's singing voice this afternoon. All the neighbors. Yeah, seriously, not just us. And this wall is coming together and it's looking pretty good. We had a minor level crisis earlier where the level got dropped and now we're not even sure if it's working properly anymore. So everything we're basing our squareness off of and our level off of may or may not be accurate anymore, but is it, it is what it is. Okay. That one's just too tall. We are still using the level. Now, check it. Hear that? It's good. Better. Are we crisising? It's just uh, normally when you build walls, like every wall that we built, you lay it down on the ground and you like build the whole wall and then you can pull tapes to like square it. And when you stick frame a wall in place like this, which is what we have to do, it's a lot more difficult to get it square. We're not even close to a hair out of square. No! Yeah, we're like, it's gonna fall over it's so out of square. <laughs> you guys! Uh, we're the leaning tower of Pisa. That is not good news. From the garage mahal to the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> real quick. At least we're multicultural. That's cool. In the next episode, we're gonna rebuild the entire garage. All right, the level's messed up, is that why? They're the same. Hi. Unless they're both screwed up. <sighs> I don't know. So, I don't know what's more likely, you guys screwing up or the level screwing up. Right, I'll let yeah, you be yeah. the judge of that. <laughs>
we didn't get as much done today as I thought we were going to, which I remember now is basically just how all building happens That's is you're right. like, we're going to get this much done and you get half of it done and you're disappointed. But we did get half of the back wall framed. And basically in this video, we started framing. we got one whole wall pretty much framed except for sheathing and then the back wall half framed. So we're making a lot of progress. I'm really excited to get this thing underway. The rest of the LSLs are going to be delivered on Monday, which is the next video. And, uh, I don't know if we're actually going to get to build those walls or not, but we're going to try. <laughs> it's all about the process. Yeah. It's, it's the journey, right? Not and the we're destination. We're having fun, huh? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> if you guys are having fun, make sure you guys let us know. If you enjoyed this video of us starting framing on the garage, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you guys haven't already. Thanks again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. I met you on a sunny day. Right there you took my breath away. A young and pretty you was it just a dream. The next day you called me up. You told me